Okay, today we're going to go through the TCM knowing the body. So we run through the few agenda. Um, are you yin and yang? What's the element within the five elements? And then are you deficient or excess? Too much or too little? And how your work organ works? And then how to self-check? So some Q&A afterwards, okay? So next slide and about yin and yang. So mostly we use a simple to display the yin and yang. Now I use the yang side is using the red. So the, the, the red shouldn't be the warm, a little bit of a dynamic there. But the blue side is uh, signified the yin is a bit cooling, a little bit more solid. In general, we talk about the gender, the man is more yang and woman is more yin, okay? And next slide, we talk about, you use a one object to display yin and yang. We're talking about the, the mountain. Okay, now, now talk, talk about the, the, the yin and yang, the same object, the mountain. And you actually see, see the side of the mountain facing to the sun is the yang side because the sun signifies the warm and the dynamic. The side up back to the sun is the yin side. But also we see that that's the yin within the yang. Can everybody see this part? The dark side within the yang side. But also the yin within yang. No, sorry, the yang within yin. And you can see a little, that's a little a light bit, bright bit within the yin, the dark bit. So, so they're interrelated, interchangeable and depending on each other as well. So this, the picture is taking uh, in the afternoon. So, but in the morning and the, yang, the yin side, the dark side will become brighter because the sun coming up from this side. Okay, so the yang and yin, they're interchangeable. Okay, next slide. And we talk about the yin and yang is Talk about relativity, it's all about comparison. We talk about the lady on the left, she's, if it's on its own, definitely it's a yin, yeah, by default. And we introduce a man in there comparing, comparing to being there, the man obviously is a yang and the lady is yin. However, if I introduce a bodybuilding lady, when in comparison for physique, the lady is not a yin nature anymore compared to the man. She is more yang. And the man himself, it become yin. This is yang. Next picture, bring in the true yang, the Arnold Schwarzenegger. She is a pure yang. When this lady, she was yang, but now when can compare to Arnold Schwarzenegger, she is yin. Yeah, so you talk about in terms of comparison. So it's the not true definite of yin or yang. Okay, they're interchangeable. Next move, next slides. We talk about in the body, we actually yin yang balance. Two blocks of yin and two blocks of yang. They're actually balanced within our body. Think about this is in our body. Okay. When the situation is got changed, when one side is deep. Because he said two yang and two yin just now, but we've got three yangs now. It means that the yang is too much, but it's a cute condition. A cute condition it happens very recently. So it means that indicating bad breath, smelly stools, barking cough, and feeling heat all the time. And obvious sign, one obvious sign you can tell first thing in the morning. Have a look at your tongue. First thing in the morning, look at your tongue. This is quite a cute condition of the damn heat. So when you see the coating is thick, yellow color, and then the tongue is red, you definitely got the heat and damn as well. But sometimes you don't see the, the, the damn, which is you don't have coating, but you definitely see the heat 
then it's a red color. All right, okay. Everybody happy with that so far? Good. Right. Okay. It's uh, young excess. Next one. It's a reverse. It's opposite side, opposite at spectrum. The yin excess, acute condition. It's very rare. It's very rare, but it happens, but it's only for a short period of time. Short period of time, yin excess. Okay. So you can give you an example. You actually will expose yourself to yin, tend to be cold. Yeah. Okay. You either expose yourself externally or expose yourself internally. Okay. Expose yourself in externally. Not such a you strip yourself in Aus in uh, Russia minus thirty degree it's going to dip into the ice pool, yeah hypothermia okay the yin excess acute, all right how about internally same thing induce a lot of cold icy drain in the body high volume then you got the same result okay we are not talking about the property of the food you just talking about the temperature of the food. Later on, in the next few workshops, we talk about the property of food, then we'll touch on that. Otherwise, it will be too confusing. So you just take my word for a minute, where you expose outside, externally, cold environment, actually attacking your body. Your body has not, hasn't got that much heat to protect you. And then the, the yin, which is the coldness, penetrates through your skin. And the second one is it actually induces things that into your body and make your body is icy cold. All right, so yin excess. So what's the indication is when you feel cold, you don't really want to eat. It's very little appetite because the reason being is your body want to use the energy to actually fight the cold. So when you digest food, you still need the energy, yes? So the body will shut down the stomach. Don't, okay, don't digest. Don't, we want to reserve energy to fight, okay? And also shivering and sometimes hot as well. Why shivering? Oh. Why is your shivering? Circulation. Why are you shivering? Is Sorry? Sorry? To make to make to make heat to conserve heat in your body. Yeah, when you have shivering, your body, you create goose pimples. So it means the the, the pores actually tight, close it tight. They don't want anything escape out of the body. Okay, when you shiver, like you do the exercise, then your body generally heat. Like Bar Alara said, okay, you generate heat, but involuntary. So your body create heat. Yeah. So create the blood circulation, make your heart pump, 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 pump. So you make yourself warm, okay? Now, sometimes you feel hot as well. Why is that? Because the body, like I said, will generate heat to try to push the cold out, okay? Now, this condition actually is quite ha often happen where the people have cold invasion. When you don't wear enough in the cold environment, and then the wind and cold hits your neck, and you feel all of a sudden you feel shivered. It means that okay, that you got the cold actually penetrate through your body. Then you have suffer from a little bit of coldness that is shivering, and also your body will actually generate heat because internally your body was so clever, generate heat trying to push the heat out. Yeah, okay. So in this case, you that's why you feel alternate. Cold and heat, cold and heat. And this time, the worst thing happened to you is what? Taking paracetamol. Do you know why? Because your body can respond with some shivering and hot means that your body immune system kicking in, trying to defend. If you're taking paracetamol, what paracetamol does to you? It's a painkiller, it's an anti-inflammatory. What anti-inflammatory does to you? reduce your immunity, suppressing your immunity, okay? So your body don't know how to react. So the cold is still going in you, but you don't feel hot. 
Yes, okay. What you do, okay, just uh, put a home blacking on and put a water hot water bottle, but you still keep putting a lot of cold cooling things in the body. Okay, worst thing all. So what's the best things? I'm just giving you a little bit extra there. The best thing is push the cold out. By how? How, anybody? How? Huh? Sweating, beautiful. <laughs> Sweating. You want to induce sweat, okay? It's the best thing. It's the best thing. Okay, people come to the work, third workshop or second workshop and touch about cold, just remind me how you actually induce sweat. All right, I'm not talking about too, too much in here. Okay, good. Next one. Yang deficiency. Okay, Yang deficiency. Yang deficiency. So Yang deficiency means that the Yang side is weaker. So what's this, what's, what do you feel in terms of the, the body? Feel tired, not quite, sluggish, not quite. What do we have Yang in nature? When we see the sun is giving the Yang, yes? What sun gives us? Warmth. The warm, the heat. In here, yeah, that's right, the energy. Wow, good, good spirit. So when you have the yang deficiency, then it means that you don't have the high spirit and you feel cold, the body. Yeah, feel cold. Right now, the sun is down. It means that we don't feel the heat from the sun. So, you know, it's a very, very easy to get yang deficient, but we are actually quite strong. So there's enough heat in the body so we can defend the cold from outside. All right, so yang deficiency. But this is chronic, okay? The word chronic. It's been there for a long time, not one day, two days. We talk about weeks, months, and years. All the time your feet is cold. And in winter time, your feet is not just cold, it's the toe is blue color. Okay, that's a chronic cold. And people from Gynae problem, cold uterus, they can't get pregnant. Okay, the deficiency cold. Okay, young deficiency. All right, okay. Obviously, the pear as well, you don't have anything glow, but pear also indicates the, the blood deficiencies as well. But we are not actually going to that level yet. We just talk about yin and yang. Yeah, okay, otherwise, it would be too complicated. Yeah, okay. So when you look at yeah, then you don't feel the glow from the face. Yes, okay. And you feel look a bit dull color, not pale, not necessarily pale. Sometimes the dull color. Sometimes you see people with a bit of rosy cheek, but a, a deficiency rosy cheek, but dull color. All right, okay. Yeah, all right, okay. Happy with that so far? Good. What are the signs that you actually can see? Young deficiency. Obviously, you feel cold, you like hot drink and spicy food. In this time, you like spicy food. Your body feel cold. Yeah, okay. I'll give you an example. I don't like chili. I do not like chili. But one, one winter in November time, I went to Beijing, sub-zero. You talk about minus 10, 15, something like this. Yes, it's very, very cold. Somebody give me the chili, uh, give me a white wine, which is 40%. Liqueur, and I love it. So all through every day, I have six chili, and then about four glasses that much of the white wine, very forty percent liqueur, just like vodka in Russia. But when I come back, I feel that oh, I can take chili. I like the white wine, but after a week, my mouth is all ulcer. It's different environment. Okay, so you actually you it means that. You're talking about the body, yin and yang, is no definite, your body changing. Okay, I can't remember as well. So liking hot food and spicy food is an indication that you're feeling cold, the body. Okay, hands and feet are cold, obvious. The stools are, are loose. The, no, the stools are loose, all right, okay? So it means that you don't have, the yang is heat, heat absorbs fluid, so it means that the fluid actually stay around in the in the large intestine. It's not the capability to absorb, and it come with the with the with the stools. So okay, yeah, and also sometimes water as well. And you have 
you have three or four stu uh, loose stools a day. Yeah, okay. Loose stools is a good indication. And also, uh, like I've mentioned about pale face and tongue. Tongue is definitely is an indicator. So face might be, but definitely it's a dull color. So if you look at the tongue like this, every morning look at the tongue, but you know yourself. By looking at the tongue, actually is actually self-diagnostic. By you checking some other people, if you just touch your hand, you know that whether they're, they're young deficient or not. Yeah, okay. Everybody happy with it so far? Yeah, good, lovely, right? Clear as mud, yes? <laughs> good, next one. It's a yin deficient. It's a chronic, again, look at this word. It's chronic, it's been there for a long time. Yin represent a coolant in the body, yes? Yang represent the warmth in the body, isn't it? Yeah, all right, okay. So in this case, the yang, you look at the, the cube that I represent here, is two yang. And, but it's one yin. Okay, I didn't point out just early on. So you tell me, in the body, do you have a sufficient yang? You don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's run back to the slide. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Yin and yang balance is like this. Okay, I just give you an example. Two yang, two yin. You might have three yang, three yin. One yin, one yang. Balance. Okay? As we go through the slides, you see one is tipping. One is too much. The yang is too much in here. But yin is still at a normal state. Oh, that's my one time. Still got two. Yes? Next one. Yin, it's got too much. But yang is still at normal state. It's only two blocks. Understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah okay. I'll just give you a bit of example. Yeah, all right, okay. If you look at the next slide, the yin is two blocks. It's normal. But the yang is only one block. It's not enough. Is that I mean? Yeah, okay. That's what we call the yang deficient. We don't call the yin excess now. You with me? Yeah, okay. Everybody at home is, uh, understand? Good, yes, thank you. So in here, this one, you just like hopper, da 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 da. And next one, pale tongue. And the yin deficient, there you go. You look at the yang, it's normal, but the yin, is lacking. So your yin deficient. That's why I call it yin deficient. Yes, I'm a tonga. How fun of right You okay, everybody? Yes, okay, good. So in terms of the yin deficient, okay, think about that. If your body coolant is missing or uh, it's not enough, what do you feel your body? Hot and cold, they're balanced. Hot is not enough, then what do you feel? Go on. Go on. No, okay, this is hot. This is cold, okay? Cold is not enough. So what your body will feel? Hot, good, well done, yes. You feel too hot, and I feel too hot. Yes, okay, but this is not, when we say just now, we feel too hot, it's yang excess, yes? But this is same symptom, you're feeling hot, but a different category, all right, okay? And I tell you why, there, which category you're in, all right? How do you distinguish which one, whether yang excess or yin deficient? 
All right, okay. So, and also you feel yin. Yin is like a coolant. What is the coolant in the body? Fluid in the body. So it means that what do you feel? You feel thirsty. Yeah. And also what actually make your body, which part of the body need to get rid of the, the waste? The large intestine, the stools. If, it's, if you haven't got enough fluid, the stool will become solid and dry. Yeah. Okay. So those are the indicator of you feeling. So the indication is feeling hot, sweaty. Okay. But the most important word is then you feel cold straight after. If you feel excess, young excess, the person will not feel cold at all. Feel after they sweat, they feel a little bit cooling, but not cold. Yeah, they feel calming and regulated. But cold is different category. It's a yin deficient. All right, okay. Prime example, I think most people about 50. Yes, so anybody have been through menopause? Yeah, so have you got similar situation? You feel hot all of a sudden, hot flushes and sweaty and you feel cold again, you put a jacket on as well, yes? Typical example, menopause is the yin deficient. All right, in TCM, we can rectify that. All right, we can rectify that in TCM, use acupuncture and using a little herb to help. All right, okay. And then when you talk about the menopause, society and all that, I'm not quite sure what they actually use. But the thing is, most direct, straightforward using acupuncture to regulate your yin and yang deficiency condition, the yin deficient. Just bring a bit yang into your body. So no, bring a bit yin into your body, actually bring the yin level up to the yang, your body will not be, is level up yourself. All right, okay? All right, no matter how much talk, everybody sitting there, suffer from menopause, yeah, yeah, I feel good, yeah, I feel that, I'm sweaty. Mister, yeah, I feel sweaty, I feel cold. Yes, what's that? Yeah, very good, I remember it's bad. You just talk about all food, and, okay, food, uh, that's finished, that's, have a cup of tea and bye-bye. You're not productive in there, okay? Yeah, I've seen one of those talk shop, a workshop, and everybody line up, sitting around, talk about how you're feeling, and feeling sorry for each other, saying, that, oh, I'm, on the, I'm not the only one. Okay, I feel better psychologically, and that's it, but it's nothing productive, all right, okay? So you might as well do something a little bit more productive and rather than feel sorry for other people. Okay, right. Next thing is about, like I said before, your, your, your stool is the fluid is lacking. So your large intestine is absorbed more fluid into your body. So your stool becomes hot and dry. Yeah, okay. Dai bin. Dai bin hai bin bai. Yeah, okay. Now, constipation. In Western medicine, term constipation means two things. No, constipation uh, is difficult to um, excrete your 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 stools out. But in Chinese medicine, it's, it's totally different. We got main two main category is actually your your stools is hard coming out, or the stool is difficult to coming out. But when you come out. Is nice and soft in form. All right, okay. There's two categories in there. We touch on that in the future. Okay. And also when it's yin deficient, because your body is feeling hot. Yeah. And what do you normally need? Water and cold, cold drink, ice creams. Because you feel hot, oh, so hot. Yes, you forget about the immediate coldness there. You just want to have the cold thing, a hot cold thing in the body. I try to, oh, I want to cool it down. I'm too hot, I want to cool it down. It's actually is false a situation. Yes, okay, like cold drink and cold food. Why you don't need cold drink and cold food? Yeah, you want a healthy body, you don't like cold drink and cold food. Well, Every now and then it's okay, but not constant, not often. Why? The body is 37.4 degrees. Is it right? Or 36.8 in that range. All right, okay. So it means that when everything into your body, it's got to be warm up 
and to be digested and absorbed. If you put too many cold things in the body and the body has to use external energy to warm it up before you get being broken down. And that's not the worst. The worst thing is before you actually go into the stomach, what it does, go through your airway. If you have too many cold things, what happened to your, for your airway? Restrict. <laughs> Asthma. It's not strong. Asthmatic. It's a chronic asthmatic. People suffer from uh, asthmatic, could be a yin deficient or chronic condition that they actually suffer from cold invasion. You know, after, after they introduced the, the laboring in the, in the hospital, and the most children suffer from early stage of asthmatic. Why? Because in the, lab, in the theater, operation theater, what's the temperature in there? Quite cold. And they dress in nice gown and the suit on, and then the body suit as well, few layers. And the woman, bottom totally naked. Okay? Yes, 22 degrees. They don't want to sweat. And then if they pull the baby out, the baby is not having a cold, a cold attack yet, but what's worse? Smack. What happened? No. Your first breath. Your first breath into the lung. Lung is the weakest point of the baby. What, what happens? Cold air. Go into the airway and go into lung, the lung is got suffer from shock. That's why from the statistics, after they introduce the, the operating theater, do the laboring, and it's got the asthmatic rate shot up. Who is happy? No, a lot of people happy. Who is happy? The people selling you with the puffer. Pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceutical company selling you the puffer. For the hell, my son suffered from asthma since age two, and then now I'll know why. And age, age three, age four, and then using puffer. It's killing. Those are the really, really devil they are. Yes, okay. And people give birth at home or have a midwife give birth in the warm environment. They're very protective for the baby. You see that in the old day, yes, the, the midwife go to your home. What did they do? Close all the windows, bucket of hot water, and then they're sweating like hell and delivering the baby. And after that, they wrap the baby in a nice and warm. Okay? This is a human way. Now, that she, you know, is a criminal. All right? If you can afford, you know, just tell your, 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 your next generation, Try not to touch that. All right. Okay. That's uh, enough said. All right. And, and also, coolant in the body actually keep your mind calm and descend your mind. Okay. So you're helping for your sleeping. Yes. Okay. Help your sleeping. So in this case, that is the very crucial part being inefficient. So what you need is a fluid back into the body. So in that case, look at the tongue. Tongue, you look at that, it's red. Once say just now, it's a hot, young excess is red as well, yeah? But you look closely of this picture. That's very dry, no coating. The tongue, when you stick it out, like a dry piece of leather and red. That's a yin deficient, okay? Yeah, and even worse, yin deficient, watch. You see that? A lot of crack, a discriminate crack on your lung, on the tongue. So it's just an extreme condition of yield deficiency. Okay? Yeah, all right. I only saw in my, in my clinical uh, uh, um, experience, I only saw about, about five people with that sort of a tongue, very, very badly. You know, when they actually stretch out the tongue, crack everywhere. Yeah, okay? Well, Give them more water is the one of the immediate remediation, but it doesn't fill up straight away. But body had to absorb it, utilize it, and then and then they need to fill up the tongue. Okay? Yeah. So yes, warm, not warm, 
Hot water. What degree? What temperature? More. 60. 60 degree. 60 degree, degree or more. Do you drink cold coffee? Do you cold, drink cold tea? Let it cool down, sip it away, and that's it. You still sip it away. Yeah, okay, you don't want to burn yourself, but you don't drink cold. Yeah, so same temperature, 60 degrees. Nice, nice water. Because once you take a first sip, where do you feel the sensation? First sip in the throat, not even go down into your hair, into your chest. You feel the heat actually penetrate down into your gut, and that's a good temperature. All right, okay. I also have not touched when actually the cold drink pass here, you get asthma. And also what's that? What's next to it? Going down, what's next to it? We touch on that later on, it's the heart. Okay, what heart has got around it? A lot of blood vessels. People have to do bypass is where are they? Around the heart. It means that when you put cold, when you put a cold drink in the hot, uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the in the better, what it becomes solidified. So you put cold drain through here, and all the lipid in your blood vessels become solidified, stick into the blood wall. So more and more, more and more, the blood vessels become not well, it's narrow, become blocked. That's why you need to do the vent, uh, the 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 valve opening bypass, but it doesn't help. The bypass is worse. Why is it worse? What the blood vessels, how the blood vessels work? Yeah, dilate and contract and dilate and contract. What the, 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 the valve, the stance work? Just like this. They don't move. Okay? They don't move. And what's worse is that the stand is got what? All the filler in there. So in this case, it's easier to catch more dirt, more lipid around it, hang off here, okay? So when you're closing it, there will be more chance. And people go first time bypass, second time bypass, third time bypass, okay? Fiber, yeah, you can use the fiber. Actually, now they use a new procedure, actually use the, the tube, actually push it through, right, by using the stand. Stand is out of date. They don't use stands anymore. I use a balloon, actually blow it up and push the bits out. Like I used, though, you know, the dino rod, when you have a block drain, actually push it, push it, yeah, okay? So it's a little bit more clever, yeah? But however, no cold drain. America, a lot of heart, heart, died of heart disease, okay? Then you know what they do? Fast food, bottom up drain, and what else? With a lot of ice in there as well. Okay, yes, all right. Everybody understand the yin and yang, excess and chronic, yeah? Give you some understanding. I'm not making a year doctor tomorrow. Okay, but let you understand the yin and yang, the difference, okay? The next one we talk about is the five elements, okay? In Western uh, theory, there's also elements as well. There's only four elements, but in here we have five elements. Talk about the Western, we focus on the, the Eastern side. What are the five elements? I'm not asking you to guess. Those are five elements, which is a, is a cycle. So we're not talking about, we're starting from where? We start from this one, but on from the left side, the wood element, yes? Wood. And followed by the fire, followed by the earth, followed by the metal, followed by the water, and followed by the wood. Okay, and then going on and on and on and on, okay? So in this case, don't have to write it down. And this is uh, it's on PowerPoint, I sent out to people and then on the WhatsApp group. And also I'm going to put on the YouTube. Now I just want to talk about a slightly, this, can you see the little arrow there? Yeah, this little arrow, it means that to give birth or promote or make stronger. How does it mean? Would make fire stronger. Yeah, you don't need me to tell you that. All right, everybody happy with that. Would make fire stronger, all right? And then fire make the earth richer. Understand all that? Fire, after the fire burning all the material, including wood, and become ashes. The ashes become very nutrient. 
and then feeding into the earth, and then the earth become very, very rich. If you throw anything in there, it will grow. Is it right? And then earth give birth to metal or make the metal richer. Is it right? All the mineral we dug out from the earth, majority of them anyway, from the earth. If the earth is rich, yeah, and it, then they will be rich of mineral and metal. We're talking about gold, diamond, yeah, anything. Yes, okay, anything. Majority of the elements in the periodic table, they're actually coming from the earth. All right, okay. And then water, a metal, make water stronger. Why? How come? Mineral water, yeah, see. <laughs> Mineral water, right? Yeah, okay. When the rain falls, go through the earth and then go into the under, underground water. So the water bring the mineral and then into spring water, I'll come into the mountain. That's why the Scotland's, the Scottish water is so much richer. Yeah, so much more beautiful. All right, okay. So, and the water give birth to wood and make wood stronger. I don't need to explain that. All right. Okay. Within the five elements, they are they actually the organs in the body actually slot into those five elements. Okay. Wood. We're talking about is the liver. Okay. Think about the wood is the green color. What is green color in our body? The gallbladder. What's next to the gallbladder? Is a liver. Okay. Just think of that and you can't go wrong. All right. <laughs> okay. Five elements literally is the one subject on its own you can talk about two days. Now I'm going to spend about 10 minutes run through that. So it's very, very a, a snappy sort of a, explanation. And when you talk about fire, fire, you look at the fire and you feel happy. You feel happy. When you feel happy, what do you do? Ah, you open your heart. Relating to your heart, open your heart, fire. Ah, I love the fire. Oh, good, warm. Oh, yes, okay. And when you're looking at the earth, so the fire is relating to your heart, all right? Okay, majority. Okay, and, and then you're looking at the earth. Earth color is earthy color. When you're looking at the earth, what do you think of? No, you think about the food. All the food grow from the earth, yes? So where the food going into your body? Go into the spleen and stomach, okay? Digestive system for the time being, okay? Go into the digestive system. So earth is relating to the digestive system, okay? And next thing is about metal. It's a, a little bit of concept. People doing Tai Chi, you're very good at that, using the imagination, okay? Yes, right. Metal is good for what? What do we use the metal for in, in general? Okay, use the metal for what? When we doing Tai Chi practice or we using, uh, dealing with the garden, using the pruner, chopping the woods. Yes, chopping the root. So we use the metal, making those tools. So in this case, the metal is very good. It's getting rid of things. All right. So, the three things that in our body, actually got to talk, talk about four things, but it's only two things that can get rid of the, the things very, very much a lot as well. Which are they? When you're breathing in, you're breathing out. You're getting rid of your carbon dioxide, which is the waste in the body, okay? This is from the bowel. What about below? There's one place, you have two places, but one place, then you can actually excrete, excrete more, which is your stools, large intestines, okay? So it's the lung, expectate, you breathe out, and also your large intestine, getting rid of the waste. So it's relating to getting rid of things. So breathing out and the stools, all right? Okay, by chance of a fight, still gone. And next thing is about the water. In, the, in, the, in our body, physiologically, 
which are the organs governing uh, which are the organs governing water in the body yes it's more lower down in the body okay kidneys very good why do you talk about kidneys a lot of people don't do under, don't don't do Chinese medicine don't mention about kidney dealing with water very good it's a kidney and uh, the bladder okay the bladder is just like a bag it doesn't do anything at all it's a kidney give you a power push the bladder and then you actually urinate okay so it's the kidney and bladder those are the water elements all right yeah it is yeah that's right yeah everything has to go through the kidney to filter out and then coming out into the bladder yeah okay Sun, all right okay now that's another extra information for you then i probably would not have time to go through that let's talk about emotion if you can actually read them please do okay okay but don't copy them i said will be in the powerpoint i'll send it out okay not nothing to worry about all right okay so this is talk about emotion the white white boxes is talk about emotion and anything that relating to i'll give you one example you look at this one here the wood and then the liver governing the body tendon governing the eyes you got eyes problem glaucoma and then you got the um, um, stigmatism. Anything eye related problem, dry eyes, is all about liver. No matter how much drop you put in there, it doesn't work. Talk to your liver. Yeah, okay. And the taste, you like sour taste. It's a liver taste. Okay, it's a liver taste, sour taste. All right. And also, it's dealing with anger, emotion. Emotion is anger. <clears throat> anger can be explosive, means that and could be inward anxiety depressed because your anger go inward all right men anger go outward majority okay but women go inward all right don't do that what's the good sign of people is to get angry a lot sorry no the men get angry a lot. What's the good the sign? Anger. Rage. No, when you just look at a person, when a person is sleeping, you look at that. Well, that's a little problem. No. No. <laughs> when you get angry, the heat rises up. All the follicle will actually burn. You got no more follicle. The hair fall off, you get body head, <laughs> and also the head is a bit more pointed as well. Yeah, okay. The head shape is a little bit pointed. Yes, okay. And what about the woman? The woman mostly they get inward. All right, they feel they always complain here, congested. And also, what's even worse? They have breast cancer. Okay. So all the chi going to the stomach and going to the liver and nowhere to go, where does it go? Go into the into the into the breast and liver and some and is the, uh, the, the breast cancer. Okay. Majority, 90% of the women have a uh, good position, high position, very stressed job. They do have a high risk on that. All right, okay. Okay, enough said. I just give you one example, and then the rest we'll talk about that in the future. All right, the five elements. Everybody happy with that so far? Good. Okay, time is pressing on. So we talk about the arrows as well. The arrow means that is actually controlling. Say, for instance, the water controlling the fire. Fire is too much. Put some water in there. Fire too much. And uh, now, metal, you want to melt the metal, use the fire. The wood is growing too much, use the metal, make a, make a prune, actually pruning it, make it chopping it. If the earth, if we lose, grow some tree, to controlling it. When you have a flooding, what do you build? Build a dam. Yes, okay, that's how you look at it. So in this case, in terms of the organs, overcoming and then remediation, we use the five, five elements a lot. 
All right. That's what I'm saying. Five minutes itself take about two days, two full days, and talk about it. All right. Okay. Now knowing your organs, I'm going to quickly going through your knowing organs. Yeah. Okay. So this is the organs in a more solid form. You got some slide at the, the chart on your right uh, left hand uh, right hand side uh, within the audience, and then now you got slides here. All right. So most of it, I don't want to teach you biology, but mostly I just want to pay a bit focus on the main organs. Here, the lungs here, the lungs there, a pair of lungs. And inside, that's the heart. That's why the left side of the lung is smaller. That's why it's the heart. So it means that it's very bad sleeping on one side. Which side is worst? Sleep on the left side is worst. You're restricting your heart function, okay? You are restricting your heart lungs, and you think about all this weight pushing onto the heart. No good, no good. All right, okay. You might want to feel cut to your heart. Your heart might be boom, 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 boom. If you want to cut to there, but when you sleep, your weight that way actually pushing it. You feel all of a sudden you wake up. All right, okay. So it's on your back is the best. You put a little pillow on your heart on your chest. Like you have, like a baby, yeah. Okay. The left side of the chest, just a light, light, yeah. Because people are just some some killer. Come on, hold your leg. It's nice and gentle. Yes. Okay. Like you put it hard when you feel boom, 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 boom. You put it harder. <sighs> Better, isn't it? So when you sleep on your back and you just put a little blanket on your chest, on this on top of your heart, then you feel a little bit pressure there, and you feel better. No, you're still turning your, your, you're twisting your airway. No special, nothing special. Unless you've got a cradle and they're sleeping in there. But you, you will have a big puddle of a no stripping. Yes, okay? There's nothing special. Don't know, nothing is special. It's a natural. We want to go for a natural way. If they say, oh, special way, special this, it's all lies. Like special fried rice is a lie. There's no such thing as special. <laughs> but natural rice okay natural yeah okay you should you feel comfortable because your heart is actually pounding there you actually give a little bit pressure that's when you awake still awake still conscious because your body is still holding your body is still holding but when you're actually sleeping your body is dropping isn't it is the dead weight it's very heavy no good no good yes on your back is absolutely bad. If you got problem sleeping on your back, you got a problem. Then you have to deal with it directly, face to your problem, rather than hiding your problem. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. Next thing I want to focus on is your liver. At the moment, how is oh no, it's not liver. This is a diaphragm. Okay. Forget about that diaphragm. That diaphragm is a big piece of muscle separating the the heart and lung. And then the rest, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the left side. This is the left side. Okay, left side. Not the left side. Left side. Okay. And the liver is more on your left side. Oh, sorry, on the right side. More on your right side. Yeah. Gallbladder is a little blob there. It's a little blob, green color. Stomach slightly on your left side. Yeah. Nothing on the center. Slightly on the left side. Spleen. Can you see? It's just a little there and then the one that come up here go across going down and become poo that's a large intestines and small intestine here coming out from the stomach and coming here going ooh, wee, 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 and going to the large intestine and then go up down and into into poo okay and next one is a little bit more transparent what i try to say is uh, we want to pay a bit of attention to this one here. The one that on here is a spleen there, it's actually hiding. The spleen is just behind the stomach. It's a very important piece of organs. Yeah, doctor say that without the spleen, you're okay. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a spleen to make blood. Okay, without the spleen, your spirit is just not there. Okay, and also you see 
this little round shape here on either side, they're your kidney. One is higher than the other. Okay? One on the higher and the other. So they're all protected from your rib cage. Can you see that? The rib cage protecting the, the solid organs. And then the large intestine, the small intestine, is a little bit exposed, a little bit soggy. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah, okay? In the middle there. But all the solid organs are well protected by the ribs. Okay, next one. You talk about the yin organ. We talk about the yin organ. Is talk about the yin organ is very solid. And also the yin organ or the organ itself is contain good nutrients of the body. All right, apart from one. Okay, yin organ, which one? Have you think? Wood. Liver. Liver on your right side. It's like a triangular shape. Okay? And next one is the heart. Yin organ. So, okay, next one is a spleen. Next one, lung. And next one is the kidney. Okay? Right, anybody can tell me why I put this order? And you got a prize. And you it's got a the prize. Five element, it's the five, uh, what do you call it, the relationship of the five elements. Who said that? Me, Belinda. Oh, Belinda. Okay, you got a you got a present from me. Okay, good. The audience uh, didn't hear you, so I let the chance of the audience. Okay, just remind me you got a present from me. Okay, okay, audience. Why I put in this order? Okay. No. No. Relating to the slide you saw just now. What chart? What chart? Okay, who said that first? <laughs> and five elements. <laughs> okay. Okay, come here. Yeah. Put a hand here. Just draw one paper out, please. What number? Wow, okay, pick one. Number one. Where's the number one? Wow, the big one, the water bottle. You need to replenish, take it, take it. Okay, good, yeah. When will I get my present? When I see you next, okay, just remind me, all right? Good. Okay, so it's up delivery, put in this order is according to the five elements. Talk about the wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. All right, okay. Next one, young organs. Young organs is not a solid organ, it's hollow organs. Okay, think about hollow organs. First one, gallbladder is a hollow organ contain bile. I say, uh, the one of the organs contain the essence um, is yin, but one exception is a yang, is the gallbladder. One contain bile. Bile is not waste, is essence in the body, contain the bile. Okay, yeah, help to digest food, but actually digest fat. Fat, that's right. Okay, next one. Small intestine. Small intestine, what small intestine does? Absorb food, absorb the nutrient, absorb the nutrient, okay? Next one, stomach. What stomach does? What stomach does? Go on. Digest food. Digest food. Um, digest food is very, very bold, but it's actually break down the food, okay? break down the food in the small bits, okay? So when you put into a blender, people have a blender at home, you put some nuts in there, would it blend? 
it would, would it? What do you need to put in as well? Water. You need to put in water, put some nuts in there, and become mush, like slush puppy. Yeah? And when it's in this stage, and then the stomach will push everything into the small intestine to actually absorb. All right? Okay? So the, the stomach doesn't do anything apart from break down the food into bits. Yeah? So you need fluid in there, and you also need warm. They need warm. All right? Okay? And next one. Next one is large intestines. All right, okay. And then the next one will be the dealing with water. What is it? What's the next one? Dealing with water. Organs. Bladder. Bladder. Yeah, that's it. The bladder. The bladder. Actually, is breather and go into your bladder. All right, okay. So the, the kidney doesn't count, but I just want to show where the fluid coming from. That's why they have a water element. So this is liver. No, this is not liver. This is wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. All right? So all according to five elements as well. Yeah? Everybody happy with that so far? Okay? Right. Time's up. And do you want to carry on for another few more minutes? If you want to, you think that you need to go, then feel free. All right. Okay. Don't need to say hi or bye bye, something like this. Just feel free to go. All right. Okay. So, right. Knowing your body, next one. Here's something that you need to ask yourself all the time. You don't feel normal. If you don't feel normal, then it's something question you need to ask yourself. Do you feel hot or cold? And where about? Okay. Some people feel cold and hot, same time. Yeah, yeah, hot and cold at the same time. Where this is feel really hot and the feet is very cold, hot and cold all the time and separated from the center. Okay, next one. What temperature of food and drink do you prefer? That indicates what, what we prefer to accept just now is a yang deficient or yin deficient, yeah, or yang excess. Or yin excess. Yes, okay. So you actually detect, isn't it? Can you see the link now? Yeah, okay. So you actually find a way to remediate that. So you identify yourself is very important. The stool quality, like the deficient and excess condition, that you have a hard stool, smelly stool, you have a loose stools. Yeah, so in this case, you actually can detect what condition is the body as well. And the color as well. So always look back, you know, your stool color, the quality. And color, shape of the tongue. Color and shape of the tongue. Small tongue means that very little fluid in the body. Cracked tongue, very little. In, yeah, okay. Big tongue, very big. It means that too much fluid in the body, even the tongue, it, it exploded. Yeah, people stick a tongue out, wow, just like a elephant you know, trunk in there. Yeah, and somebody's got a very big guy, small tongue. Damn, damn, it's damn in the body, okay? Teeth mouth. Yeah, teeth mouth. That's what we call teeth mouth. When it's too big, and then the tongue push into the teeth. That's why when you stick it out, we've got teeth mouth. Okay, what color of the coating? Thin or thick? Yeah, the coating. Indicate your body damp. The damp. Damp. Damp is the first killer. Internal disease. First killer. Yeah, disease. When people suffer from what? Stroke. <clears throat> Dementia. All this. Parkinson's disease. All this is damp. Yeah, okay. Endometriosis, PCOS, it's all this funny name that you create. It's all about them. TCM is so simple. But the funny name. Sorry? No, we introduce the fluid in the body, and the body cannot actually utilize them and actually stay around in the body. In the tissue between tissue, 
in between the joints, between the skins and then the, 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 the tissues, and also in the belly as well, yeah, okay? The peritonin in the, inside the body is lots of good. People have oh, I've got a lot of fat. In fact, they're not flat, yes, or they're, they're actually, yeah. You look at the pork fat, they're solid, yeah? And people look at the, the belly, it's like a lump of jelly in there. It's water, it's water, okay? You have to get rid of water, then you'll be all right. For people trying to lose weight and lose the fat, it's the wrong term. People, wow, you've got lots of fat in there, in there. No, they don't, don't know what they're talking about. Okay, the sleeping quality. The sleeping quality doesn't mean that how many hours you actually been sleeping. Yeah, it's the what's the time you sleep and when you wake up, whether you feel fresh or not. All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, when you play a game until one o'clock, two o'clock, and you sleep until 11 o'clock, I've got a good night's sleep, but during the day you still, yeah, <laughs> no good. All right. <laughs> and the legs feel heavy. Nowhere else or feel heavy in general, the body, especially the leg. You like, to, like you know, the leg is very slim, but you actually feel heavy. So what's the indication? The damp. Sometimes it's not it's not visible, but the damp excess fluid stay in the body. Okay, you're not going down to the oedema stage, which is got fluid retention stage, but that's a very very common stage. Yeah, you don't go down there. As soon as you feel the body in general is quite heavy to walk around, especially the legs, and you got damp. Yeah, deficient people. Uh, it's called about yang deficient or yin deficient. Yin deficient, they're not necessary to get them. Nah, no, no, no. Okay? Blood deficient, you not necessary to get them. Yeah? Qi deficient, you won't get them because the qi not mobilize the body. No, no, no. So we just talk about yin and yang first, not talking about qi and blood. Oma, okay? okay? We talk about that later. We talk about how you actually assess your body first, okay? And any pain in anywhere. So that's why the organs location is very important. Understand where the organs are. So in fact, it's okay. The chest is, oh, my heart is very painful. Here, it's very painful, my heart. But the heart is not here, it's here. You understand? So in this case, people is just actually understand, oh, my heart is actually painful here, very painful. In fact, they're actually pushing you know, using a lot of dumbbell and then the, the pectorius is a bit tender. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Okay. So sometimes it's there. Sometimes the, the pain might radiate, but I think when the pain starts, you need to understand where you're actually originally starting from. If it's been a bit a long time, the pain can actually go spreading. That will be a little bit, a little bit more worrying. Okay. So beware that any pain anywhere in the body, especially inside your trunk, pay attention. Okay, and also the sensation. What is the sensation is the worst. Anything feeling dull, okay-ish. Anything feeling uh, radiating is nerve pain. Numbness is second stage of the nerve pain. And if you've got sharp pain, something wrong in your local area. Okay, you talk about blood stagnation. All right, okay. So just be aware. Something is that it's very dull. Oh my God, carpal tunnel syndrome. Load of rubbish. It's very painful here. Oh, doctor said, oh, carpal tunnel syndrome because you need to the carpal tunnel. I did, chi, chi. Oh, it's not carpal. So the backup. Oh, it's, it's man now. It's a lot of false, false operation going on at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's, don't believe that it is. <laughs> it is going on. Lots of false operation happening at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, everybody happy so far? Good. Now is the time for you to talk. Yes. And I think we're going to take a uh, maybe a take a picture. Thank you very much indeed, everyone. Yeah, and then uh, good to be with you guys. All right, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, Bye. okay, Audrey, then, then, then you see. Bye. Okay, thank you Bye -bye. very much. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye.